Okay, I have in here a saucepan and we're going to make what we call in Spanish arroz vago, which is lazy rice in English. And it's a couple of meats and you can substitute any meat you like, you don't like in here. You can substitute it for something else. I'm going to start by putting a, just a little bit of the olive oil because I'm going to use bacon half a package of bacon but if you don't like bacon you can just have turkey bacon or other other kind of meat like chicken okay I'm gonna saute the bacon and you can saute the bacon until it's crispy if you like it like that or just leave it the way it is I mean kind of five ten minutes I have in here one small onion cut in small pieces, half of the red pepper, and half of the uh, green pepper cut in small pieces, and this is three crushed fresh garlic. We're going to add the whole thing in there, and we're going to saute that for a couple of minutes. You're going to, you're going to move that continuously for about, I'm going to say probably two minutes. Okay, I'm going to have one pound of the ground beef, lean ground beef. This is like 93% lean and 7% fat. And like I say, you can use whatever meat you like, a couple of meat in there. So we're going to add that and package it should do. And I'm going to do four cups of rice. If you do not less, just cut the, the meat in half. I have one can of chickpeas, um, beef broth, one can. And also, I have a base consomme in here. And I drain the water from the garbanzo leaves. Now, I'm going to add the meat in there. And with your spoon, with a wooden spoon, you're just going to break it down pieces. And then we're going to saute all these meats with the vegetables. And it's called lazy rice because this rice in Puerto Rico, they made it in the oven. So they mix the whole thing and then put it in the oven. That's what they call it lazy rice. But I'm going to do my own top of the toe. And probably in the future, I'm going to make it in the oven. That way you guys can see it. And we can use different kind of meats. Now I'm going to add some seasoning salt. That way I can season in the, the, the meat. And this is the only salt I'm going to add to, to here. So you're going to do that to your taste. And I'm also going to use sazon. This is called with azafran. Or you can use one envelope of sazon with culantro y achote. And some paprika for color. And I just put in that in there. But you can put approximately one teaspoon. One teaspoon of paprika. One tablespoon of sazon. Or one envelope of sazon. And... We're going to saute it. I have the turmeric. Um, I've been using turmeric recently because turmeric is real good. I'm going to spray some in there, but you can also put one teaspoon of turmeric if you have it. If you don't have it, don't worry about that, okay? It's not going to change, I mean, its flavor. I mean, the rice is going to still um, taste good. And then we're going to let this saute it for approximately five minutes. Now I'm going to add the chicken broth. One can. And the consomme. And the garbanzo beans. Now I'm going to add the rice. I'm going to add four cup of long grain rice. And I'm going to 
minus 30. If you're gonna do less amount, like I said, you probably can use half of the kind of the, the meat. And I'm going to add two cup of water. And we're gonna put this on number six in electric stove or medium high end gas stove. We're gonna let the water to evaporate a little bit and then we're gonna stir the rice. Don't put it too high. After a couple of minutes, when the water evaporates, you're going to stir the rice and then you're gonna lower the heat. You're gonna put in a number three or lower medium and you're gonna cover and then you're not going to check the rice for about 25 minutes. Don't cover it. Don't test it. Don't do anything. Just 25 minutes and check the rice. And low, uh, medium low. After 25 minutes, and then we're going to give another stir. And this time we're going to put it like a mountain. And then we're going to, after you do this, you're going to cover it one more time and you're going to let it cook for approximately 10 more minutes and then it's going to be ready to serve. Or we check if you have to let it more time, you can let it more time. So now we're going to let it cook for another additional 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes pass and my rice is ready. And I'm going to serve my rice with some pork chops, breaded pork chops. And I'm going to have the recipe for pork chops with gravy. In my channel. So give it a stir and then serve it. You can serve it with any kind of meat you like, chicken or just the way it is. You can serve it with a salad because remember the rice already have meat on it. And here is the final result for the rice. So I hope you guys like it. You see how beautiful it looks. If you like it, thumbs up please and don't forget to subscribe. If you see, I put some green beans, some pork chops. This is my Bago rice, which is lazy rice in chuletas. This is pork chop. Thank you for watching and don't forget, don't forget to subscribe and share my videos.